Thanks for watching the Council in Brief. I'm Susan Kennedy. We're here with the latest news of the Montgomery County Council. Up first, Montgomery County dedicated its new public gathering and entertainment space known as the Marion Fryer Tom Plaza, which honors the legacy of Marion Fryer. The project was led by Councilmember Nancy Navarro. Mershai Salu has the story. Montgomery County takes another step in the revitalization of downtown Wheaton by dedicating its new public gathering and entertainment space, the Marion Fryer Town Plaza. I knew Marion a long time. County Executive Mark Elrich, County Council President Tom Hucker, and Councilmember Nancy Navarro, joined by family and friends of Marion Fryer, attended the dedication ceremonies. Thank you, Alicia Bissell. The new Marion Fryer Town Plaza will honor the legacy of Marion Fryer, who was a longtime Wheaton resident and community activist who passed away in 2017. She was an outspoken advocate on behalf of the community and Wheaton was always the center of her efforts. The dedication ceremonies also included a plaque for Fryer and a ribbon cutting. This is a legacy. I mean, this is something that her grandchildren, her great-grandchildren, her great-great-grandchildren one day will read about. Um, it's just an honor. You know, this was a part of my mom that we didn't know existed because we were just her kids. I'm so excited to see it all come together. This is just the beginning. There is so much more ahead, so much more potential. But to me, this plaza really embodies what Marion was all about. She was about making sure that everybody would be heard, making sure that Wheaton's diversity could converge, that all the voices could be heard and included. But she also brought that energy and that positivity. And that's what this plaza means. It means that we can listen to music, the families can come, that we can celebrate the taste of Wheaton. It just means everything. It is the heartbeat of Wheaton, just like she was. In other news, county officials have announced a land transfer agreement that will result in more affordable housing near transit. At Halpine View Apartments in Rockville, officials announced a deal that would expand affordable housing on that site. I want to publicly thank the Fed Committee, Councilmember Reamer, Councilmember Friedson, Councilmember Juando, that they worked on this. They said that we need to change something, and the county executive was right along with them. This is a day of celebration. The landowners at Halpine View will take ownership of a 1.9 acre piece of county land in exchange for preserving 564 current affordable units and additional affordable units when redevelopment occurs. Uh, it's really a forward-thinking plan. The Veers Mill Quarter Plan was the first Councilmember Hans Reamer worked on as chair of the Planning, Housing and Economic Development Committee. He calls the agreement a signature achievement for the committee and the council. You know, we outlined a vision for zoning for this whole corridor in Rockville, Veers Mill, uh, talking about how to have a no net loss of housing so that we could preserve uh, the level of affordability that you see there today, and there's a lot of affordable housing there now, but also allow for new housing to come in. And what we came up with at the council was, you know, we'd be willing to do that. However, we like to see you commit as the developer to a unprecedented level of affordability in a privately owned project. So getting to 30% of the units as affordable uh, in, in this project. And um, I'm really pleased that the property owner said they would be willing to do that. Also part of the no net loss provisions in the plan, all current residents affected by the redevelopment would be given the opportunity to remain at Halpine View. That today really is a good step in the right direction, not only for affordable housing, but for the people that are actually making this their home and that they continue to make this their home as well. There was, there was a lot of resistance, you know, from some quarters to getting this done but we, we kept going through it and we made it happen. And uh, again, glad to see that the, uh, you know, the, the exact vision that we had or, you know, is now executed. That's great news. Well, that does it for this edition of the Council in Brief. For County Cable Montgomery, I'm Susan Kennedy.